This morning's Coffee With is with Stan White. Stan White, welcome to WJZ. Good morning. All How right, are good you? to be here, Marty. Yes. Hello. Good to you. Good. 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 Stan White. Yes. Yes. I've known Marty for a long time. Yeah, we do. He's an old timer, there. too, you know. Where'd you guys meet? 77. 77? Yeah. 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 Uh, just a few days ago, my 40th anniversary on TV. Wow, home. congratulations. Yeah. Thank yes. You. Let's talk. Uh, let's if these walls. Oh, by the way, we're going to do a web extra. We're going to actually talk current football with Stan. We want to talk about this book next. The holiday season's coming up. Football season's here. If these walls could talk, stories from the Baltimore Ravens sideline, locker room, and press box. Now, I will tell you this: you don't burn any bridges here. You don't throw anybody <laughs> under the bus. But there are stories in here that I didn't even know. And I, I for there was many years I was very close to that team. I, basically started Rave TV and Rave Radio at Lisa Berkey. Yes, it was it was interesting to do this book. Uh, number one, because I sort of grew up with this franchise in Kent, Ohio, where I grew up. The, the Modell franchise was the Cleveland Browns, and I used to go to training camp every year, so I knew the Modells. Uh, I knew Kevin Byrne before he got here. I played against Ozzy, and then they came here. I, I couldn't believe they came here. There's a story about that it, it, where I called Art Modell the night before that famous press conference down in Camden Yards and said, are you really moving the team? Because I couldn't believe it. it was an icon there. And he says, yeah, I can't comment on that, but I'll see you tomorrow in Baltimore. Right. <laughs> well, that's you know? one, yeah. well, but th 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 this is one of the great um, uh, segments of the book about the ownership. There's a chapter 10. It's about Steve Bishotti. Uh, chapter 9 is about Art Modell. And you get yeah, it answers a lot of questions as to how this deal really came down the pipe. It's fascinating. Yeah, and it, 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 I love going back on this because, like I said, I grew up with this franchise, and then they hired my coach, Ted Marchabroda, as the first coach. My defensive coordinator, Maxie Bond, was Ray Lewis's first coach here. So I sort of always had a, an affiliation with the people and the franchise through all these years. And then somehow, like I told you, I got into broadcasting and ended up covering them for the 20-some years they've been here and doing doing the game for the last 12 years. You know what's beautiful about you? You were a member of, we were talking before I went on, before you started rolling this tape, of what I think was one of the great football teams of all time, your era of the Baltimore Colts. But you don't live in the past. You stay very current. When you listen to the games, your observations are of the moment. You've, you've stayed very much up with pro football in 2017. Well, well, that's what you have to do. You know, nobody wants to hear about the 70s and the Colts at this time unless you're at an alumni function or something like that. They want to know what's going on on the field. And uh, uh, I, I really enjoy that. I coach a high school team, so I have to stay current on what's happening in the way you run offenses and defenses and all those things. So uh, it, it, it's really fun for me to keep my foot in football in a number of ways. And, uh, and writing this book just sort of gave me a lot of memories of all the years that I've been involved here in Baltimore because it's a great football city. I grew up in Ohio, went to Ohio State. I was used to great football. I didn't know what I was going to get coming into Baltimore, but it is a great football city. Todd Karpovich and Jeff Seidel helped you write this. Yeah. What is your favorite story out of this book? Uh, other than the Art Modell story, mm -hmm. you know, I guess uh, uh, John Harbaugh, you know, the, you remember the, when they went to the Super Bowl, the last I think they lost four of their last five games mm -hmm. in the regular season, lost, and then Pittsburgh lost, and they sort of, people said they backed into the playoffs that year. I remember sending him a text that night saying, nobody backs into the playoffs. I was, the, I was in the league for 13 years, and I think I made it four times, four or five times, and you deserve to be in the playoffs, and you got all these guys coming back. Elodie Nott is coming back. Ray Lewis is coming back. Ed Reed is coming back. You know, you got all these players. You got a really good chance. And he just wrote back. He says, "Okay, you soothed my soul." You know. And then from on, it went on from there. They went on to a Super Bowl run. So the great game in Denver. Mm -hmm. You know, we had to feel like God was with us at that point. You know, yeah. everything that happened that year. And uh, so that that that. Is brings back that yeah. memory. But so you got, and you've got all these great. You have the you, you, yeah. you have the stories, and then there's a sub chapter at the end of each chapter with just some other remembrances. I'm telling you, I I, I, I don't I don't pimp products here. If I don't believe in them, I just I will walk off the set. It's happened before. Um, this is a good book. If these walls could talk, Baltimore Raven, Stan White. Tell you what we're gonna do. 
We're going to take a break. We're going to come right back. But we're going online, cbsbaltimore.com. All right, Marty. Okay. And we'll, 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 Congratulations. We'll talk to you. Yeah, we'll talk to you.